Yeah, let's have some light in the studio, huh? <laughs> yeah. So, that is... Uh, That's it. We are here in the morning and the captain is here with us. Unfortunately, it's quite noisy right now. <laughs> hey. Hey, mister. I am wearing the shade, so he also wants to be inside, huh? Like a real Italian ma mafioso, huh? <laughs> Have you been in Italy, by the way, Mr. Captain? Yes, several places. Several places in uh, Italy. Trieste, Trieste, Palermo, Taranto, La Spezia, Livorno, Genoa, and Rome. Oh my God! I have only been in Rome. Hey, hey by the way, uh, can you open this one for me? Yes. Look, look, this this man. He is a captain. And in the background, we have a welder. Hey, look! <laughs> in the background, we have a welder who's been working in Saudi and for 20 years in Libya. It worked, he was working in uh, Libya, Iraq, Dubai, Saudi Arabia, mm. and other parts of the Middle East. Wow, wow, wow. United Ooh. Arab Emirates. Yeah. Hey. This is my cousin. Bigo. Oh, your cousin, yeah? Yeah. So, it's very noisy here. And I think... So anyway, that is our morning. Some people like coffee, but me, I like uh, beer in the morning and beer in the day, noon and beer in the evening. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> it's good. Yeah. <laughs> beer is good. Yeah. <laughs> so you were in Italy, but I what what really made me want to interview you is that you actually have been in my birth country which is you know my birth country the cameroon yeah the cameroon huh yeah hey and i've been there several times wow in africa mm. you know i travel around the world for 30 years 30 years huh? yeah mm. from ordinary seaman to captain wow did you work on norwegian ships no but i've been there in oslo I've been there in your place. I've been traveling in Europe, in Ireland, England, Germany, Poland, Norway, Russia, Ukraine, France, Spain. Wow, Italy, you could you, you could actually Portu Portugal, Portugal and Spain, yeah. See, where yes. where where in Portugal? Romania, Bulgaria. Ah, Romania. Hey, I was a missionary in Romania. I speak Gorbesk Romanesque. I speak Romanian. Hey, what do you think about Romania? Romania is a good people. And good food, huh? Good food. Oh. <laughs> Usually the European people are uh, good people. Mm -hmm. They are good people. But the Filipinos are the best. Yeah, we are the best. Yeah. <laughs> we are the best worker in the world. Yes. Also the most some, friendly. Some also the most friendly. Huh? Before we start... Uh, uh, work in a seaman's life abroad, the European said that we are so small. Yeah. <laughs> we are small but people. You are small. Your Honda is very big. You see? Honda are, is very big. We are small people, but later on they realize the European people, that the, the Filipino people are hard working. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Hard working. That is the hard worker right there. Hard worker. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, seaman, any kind of job, nurses, and the ladies are, are very clever, yeah, like you say, nurses, they yeah, are. Yeah, they're nurses and yeah. some other, uh, 
any kind of work that uh, that uh, hired by other country, the Filipino mm. excel their ability oh, and yeah. talent. Oh yeah, and hard work, especially hard working. And you're so blessed because uh, most of you even speak English, yeah? Yeah, we can we can speak English. In Asia, we are the one. Hmm. I know because, because I've been living several years in Thailand. In Thailand, even you try to ask somebody, is that the bus that is going to Bangkok? Huh? Hey, they don't understand anything. They, they, they don't understand. Because, hey, uh, hey, hey, look, is that your cat? Uh, this is my uh, visitor's cat. He visited with me. I think he's, she's pregnant. Ah, pizza, pizza. <laughs> so anyway, uh, the reason why I, I think I want to make several interviews with you, but uh, I really want to ask you about your church there because uh, you told me when I met you that you really love uh, Roger Grove, the church there. Yeah. And so many people in the Philippines they love him so much, yeah. Yeah. But then some media, especially the Western media. They hate him. They say he's a killer and blah 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 blah. So so, and of course he's a killer. We know that he's a killer. Uh, but he actually, you told me he graduated here in Digos. Yeah, he he, is gradu he, he, he was graduating uh, Holy Cross College of Digos uh, because at that time there was uh, uh, he was studying in uh, Ateneo de Dabao and molested by the priest. And, and the priest was American, right? Yeah, the, the priest is American. So he sling it, the priest, and then the priest got angry with him because of because of his slinging the, you know. <laughs> he, he took a sling at the priest? Yeah. Ah, I... Then, oh, I uh, already love the test. Hey, yeah, the test. If you see this, uh, yeah. the, the priest is uh, what we call him, molested him during confession day. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah anyway, anyway we, let, let's let's we uh, we can talk many hours probably about this. But uh, why should people love the test there when they call him the Punisher and all kind of stuff? You know, he had the death squad squadrons in Davao. He, they say, they say, that he killed many people there, and that's why he eradicated crime, huh? No, uh, President that, Duterte is the one, he's not the one who said that uh, Dabo the squad, is that is the media, the media uh, make some name for that, it's not Duterte. Mm. Yes, of course, Duterte is not a killer, he is a punisher, he will punish you. Mm. But Accor he was uh, killing, accor yeah? according to your uh, according to your uh, so to the story, story, yeah, yeah. yeah. According, so, according to your uh, crime committed. No, but in my opinion, according to the Bible, the government has the right to punish and to kill if it, the crime is serious, right? So it, it was, uh, it was, uh, uh, it was. Uh, Somebody filed a case against him regarding the killing, but he's acquitted. He's not uh, liable for the crime. Okay, no, but 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 anyway. But he punished a lot. Yeah, he punished. Okay, but uh, I heard. I I mean, there are all all kind of stories. He's even a disciplinarian. Uh, yeah, yeah, guy. He's yeah, a disciplinarian yeah. guy. As, as far as I know. But not a murderer. Not a murderer. Ah, now he, he just left the office uh, and we had Bong Bong you now is the Philippine president but what is uh, so special about Duterte what did he do for the Philippines President Duterte uh, doing a lot of uh, he's a different kind of uh, leader in this uh, in the Philippines oh there so are the, several the, yeah, there, the are, there are a lot, a lot of uh, president in the Philippines but he is the one who break the state man style <laughs> yeah you told me yeah like like a statement like like uh, now we have you are, uh, you are talking about uh, you are sweet, talking about everything sweet everything yeah. and, uh, <laughs> and and doing nothing and doing nothing <laughs> and 
they are corrupt. All, only drinking coffee with your mates from China, yeah. from uh, but but talking sweet, <laughs> and he will bring you to the moon. <laughs> he will, he will and send you to, to Mars, to the planet. Yeah, <laughs> but actually, they are not doing their job. Not only do, not like Duterte. But Duterte, he did something with the crime in Manila, I think. Yeah, before before uh, before Duterte, there are a lot of presidents. Oh my God, the crime, the drugs, is everywhere in the Philippines. When the Turkey comes, the drug addicts surrendered. <laughs> Around 16,000 people surrendered. And the crime, until such time that uh, end of his term, 50%, 50% of crime was reduced from 100% to 50% reduced because the drugs not that totally uh, nobody say it's very safe now in Manila in Manila in whole Philippines is safe because they are afraid because in I will tell you when I was a uh, first time in uh, Davao in Davao it was when he was inaugurated, uh, Duterte, and I realized, hey, hey uh, Davao City, everybody respected the law. Yes, of course. Yeah. Because in Davao City, we are the only place in the Philippines disciplined. And uh, how yes. long was Duterte mayor in Davao City? Around 22 years. 22 years, yeah? 22 years, uh, no losses yeah. in the politics until such time he became a president. No loss. But, but, uh, people say he, he is a killer, he killed innocent people just because they are abusing some drugs. Uh, do you think that is true? In Dabao, in Dabo, when he was a mayor, if you are a criminal, he warned he warn you, do yeah. not skip away in my place, yeah. otherwise there's something happen to you. Mm -hmm. The criminals are not worthy to live in Dabo. You must go outside, not in Dabo. Because city. I heard some rumors that the Davao city was the crime and murder capital of the before. Philippines, yeah, before yeah, the when the game, came, yeah. Yeah. When the Thursday came, mm. the, the, the Davao city became a peaceful and a disciplined people. Can you get me a... Hey. Cigarette? Oh, no, 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 no. Just a moment, just a moment. Hey, cheers! Cheers for... For friendship. For friendship, for global, international, Norwegian, Filipino friendship, huh? Yeah, correct. Mm. So, you know, when President Duterte ran for president, no, most of the people in the Philippines doesn't know him. Doesn't know him. And Yay! Oh, oh, oh. Uh, it's like an earthquake, yeah? <laughs> That's so when he was the person, no most people in the Philippines didn't know him, yeah? Doesn't because know he him. was here down in Mindanao. Yeah, he's he's the first president in the south, in Mindanao. Oh. Most most president is from the north mm. and in the Visayas. Mm. He's the first president in the south. Seventy-five great he is not in, during his uh, college days and high school days and also in the bar exam he's at 75 grades if you become 74 you're dropped out <laughs> 75 is the limit <laughs> but you see now, so he was a college dropout no no he's not a college no, dropout he, but he was close to be yeah, yeah, in, during high school days mm -hmm. making seven, day, 7 years for uh, Hmm. Usually the four years, mm -hmm. but he make it seven. <laughs> but now later on, uh, people in, in the Philippines uh, realize 
that he is a political genius. He is a political genius in politics. Even if he's not a statesman, as you he said. He is not a statesman. He because he is just like Donald Trump. Right? Uh, yeah. Donald Trump is not a statesman. He's a He's a businessman, right? He's a businessman. And Duterte, he was, but Duterte was a, a lawyer. He's a lawyer, right? Yeah, he's a lawyer. And he said, some some media man said, "Hey, you're not a state man. <laughs> Your mouth is bad." <laughs> Duterte said, "Hey, during the time when I study law, I did not study state man. I study <laughs> law as a lawyer." <laughs> But actually, I, I read in, in the news that uh, God spoke to the Duterte when he was on a plane to Japan that you must stop cursing so much huh? because you are now a president. Uh, so, so Duterte actually improved his behavior. Improved, yes, his behavior and uh, his daughter also told, her, told him that, uh, hey, that, that don't, don't, don't speak bad words. <laughs> That's why he stopped. He stopped talking about bad words. Uh, but, but, but you know, wh why do you love Duterte? Duterte because uh, Duterte is a, a, a hard-working president. He doesn't want recognition. He only work, 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 work. And even that's his old man. Yeah? Even his old man. He managed everything. He managed everything. He, been, he, he is the old man. In Marawi, during the war, he's there so many times. Oh, really? Yeah, during the Marawi siege. Mm. There, he was there. He was there. He, he gave a moral support to his army. And they win that war. Six months war. The longest war in the Philippines. Yeah. Yeah. And he is the only president or leader in the world that during the pandemic time mostly all leaders in the world is uh, they, they stop infrastructure because of the pandemic only Duterte together solve the pandemic and continue infrastructure in the Philippines he's the one really yeah yeah because they are now building a very beautiful road in Davao uh, a coastal road yeah and of course in Manila they did a lot of he, 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 he make uh, the Philippines beautiful to, uh, to his uh, the infrastructure uh, nationwide from Luzon Visayas and Mindanao and no no president make that like that he made it the also the military. He buy so so many aircraft or planes for, for war. Wow! Not so much because the Philippines is uh, a poor, poor, country. poor country before. Yeah. But still, but he, he is the only president also. Yeah. During the time of uh, calamities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like like the typhoon, typhoon earthquakes. Uh, earthquake, so many. Yeah, yeah. Uh, before president, they ask. Uh, uh, help from United Nation. Yeah, <laughs> President doesn't want like that. Duterte, he ex he actually hate uh, United Nations. Huh? Yeah, he, he doesn't like because, asking some yeah. some help from other country like yeah. a beggar. Yes, he doesn't like that one. Yeah, he said we stand, uh, we stand by ourselves. Yeah, he's we are a not proud, proud person. Yeah, we are. Uh, he, he even he he said to Obama, "Fuck you," something like that. He he didn't want to. He didn't want to honor Obama because Obama was, uh, like you say, a statesman, an actor, something like that. Yeah, but to that, he said, hey, hey, he, he didn't respect Obama, correct? You know, yes, because America, usually, actually, America is a, a rich country. But what happened to them? They, uh, they like to, they, they, they like so much to, to uh, say the other country that you are, this is no good, this is no good, this is no good. But how about you? Yeah. But how about Homeless you? in the streets? Homeless in the streets is everywhere. Uh, I saw that one because I am a seaman. Yeah. I've been in New York, Newark, wow. California, wow. Louisiana, mm. 
Huh? Well, which place? Everywhere in America, I know that one. I said, what happened to America? Mm. You are talking bullshit with the other country and then later on, in your country, the the people are drug addicts. By the way, you said you were in Libya. I, I've been there. Uh, during the time of Gaddafi, I suppose. Actually, Gaddafi is a good man. But you see, if somebody uh, speak against America, they will destroy you. Yeah. They destroy. Uh, you know, Gaddafi. I think one of the reasons why they wanted to take down Gaddafi is because he wants to create a golden coin for Africa. Not use US dollars because the Federal Bank, they can print dollar, yeah? Print, print, print out, out of thin air. They're making money. And yeah. Gaddafi knew this. Yeah. And he says, fuck you. I'm going to sell only my oil eh, for gold. Yeah. <laughs> that's why, I think that's why they uh, took him Saddam, down. Eh? Uh, as far as I know, Saddam Hussein, they, they said, the America said that they make uh, some uh, uh, chemical, uh, nuclear uh, for uh, destruction of human. Oh, shit. But, and then later on, they did not, they did not find anything. No, no. <laughs> and then in Syria, hey, every country. Now, now they are mm. blaming Putin. They say Putin is very evil. We don't, I think it's, of course, nobody likes war. We think it's terrible with the war in Ukraine, but... Have you been to Russia, by the way? No? I've been there. You have been there? I've been there during the communist time. Oh, I, I was yeah. in Romania yeah. during the communist time, yeah. The salary is $20 in one month. But everything is cheap. Everything <laughs> is provided by the government. You, yeah. If your son is a good uh, brain. He can go to as a lawyer, as a doctor, as a scientist, provided by the communists. But now, the, they are now uh, so socialist or semi-democratic. So the, the, what that, actually, there is no pre now. No, no, what actually happened in Romania? I was there in the time of Ceausescu. I was there in Romania. Constantia, I've been there in Constantia. Yeah, Constantia, yeah. I lived in Constantia for a long time, yeah. <laughs> Wow, cool. So, so anyway, uh, the point is that uh, politics is not only from the American point of view. That's what we are talking about here, right? Politics yeah. is a dangerous game in town. <laughs> and that's it. Politics is a dangerous, there's, especially in the Philippines, because here you get killed there's, easily. There's, yeah? yeah, there's no, there is no such. Uh, you are relatives, you are uh, brothers and sister. You are fighting for this politics because politics is a evil we must continue this uh, talk later uh, thank you so much for joining me here in Digo City what is your name uh, my name is uh, Captain Gregory Abalie Gregory Abalie Abalie yeah okay man hey, yeah. hey. Thank you. God bless God bless do you believe in Jesus by the way of course hey is he your savior? He's a savior. Amen. <laughs> Amen. He, okay. He, he, you say something about Jesus. Jesus is the son of God who takes mm. away the sins of the world. And let us pray for him. But Amen. do not forget the God the Father also. You must pray with the God the Father and the Son. Amen. And the Holy Spirit. And that's all. <laughs> I believe in a mighty Father. Yes. I believe in his only son i believe in the holy spirit i believe that they all are one thank you thank you gregory yes. Cap captain gregory yes. with uh, his welder hey and Make then hey let's let's cheers for the philippines cheers.